Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be working a little bit with Onshape and creating functional parts that can help you uh, solve problems around your house. So today's project is a uh, this is a electrical fitting and this is for a one inch uh, electrical PVC into a, an electrical box. Now you got to keep in mind that uh, using 3D printed parts uh, with, with electrical boxes and panels and things, uh, it's not up to code. Uh, they require uh, this, this type of material here. So uh, just be warned, it's not going to be up to code, but if you need to resolve a problem in a pinch like I do, I'm short one of these. I'm just going to recreate this thing in on shape, uh, print the test part to make sure that the threads are right and that the uh, tube will fit in here, make any adjustments, and then uh, print the final part. So uh, with all these projects, you always got to start with, by taking measurements. And uh, what I like to use to take measurements is a uh, caliper. So what you want to do is you want to grab the relevant measurements, uh, outside diameter. It's about uh, 41. Then you want to grab your inside. And the inside is more important than the outside because a PVC tube has to fit in there. Uh, so I'm going to say that this is uh, about 33 and it looks like it should be 33 and a half. Uh, but it could be uh, 33 and three quarters. You know, you just have to print the test piece and then test fit it. So I'm going to go with 33 and a half for the inside. And then uh, the overall height. Gonna be 55. This uh, section over here is going to be about 30, 31 and a half. And what I'm doing is I'm measuring right up to this this little uh, ridge here. So yeah, 31. And this little section here is about seven. And then you also want to take measurements of the uh, threads, so the thread distance. And how you want to do that is use your, your calipers and just measure between the two peaks of two of the threads. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with two and see how that works. And... Uh, Another consideration to, to take when you, when you print stuff is you have to think about the capabilities of your printer and what you can and can't get away with. So I, I'm going to print it like this because I want the threads to be nice and clean. Uh, so to get away with printing like this, I have to do a few few modifications to this part. So over here, this overhang, since it has no, no way to print in, in the air, I'm going to add a fillet here. So I have a fillet all the way around. And that will give me a gradual buildup to this edge. Now on the inside, also to avoid supports, you're going to need a fillet on the inside. And the fillet has to go from this inside edge all the way to the outer edge. Okay? So uh, whatever this distance winds up being, let's say it looks like maybe, I don't know, 3 millimeters maybe. So if it's a 3 millimeter distance between the inside and the outside of this ring here, you got to have a three millimeter fillet. All right, so let's jump on to on shape. Uh, we'll recreate this part, print some test pieces, and see how we do. So head over to onshape.com, and we're going to start by creating a document. Go ahead and give the document a name. Once your work surface is up, uh, we're going to create a sketch on our top plane top plane is the same as looking down on your build plate. So this is a good uh, way to, to build your models. That way you don't have to reorient them in Cura. So we're going to start by making two uh, circles. Now we're going to define the size of the circles. So this is based off your outside and inside measurements. Next thing is we're going to extrude this. Now we're going to create another sketch. We're going to select the top surface of the extrusion. 
We're going to create a hexagon. This is going to make our little uh, tooling part of this pipe holder. And then we're going to create the inside ridge that's going to stop the pipe from going all the way through. And again, just like before, once you're happy with the size, we're going to create another extrusion. So in this case, we're going to extrude uh, about seven millimeters. So let's head over to extrude, change this to seven, click the check mark, and you're done. Now we're going to create another sketch, select again the top surface of the part we just uh, added. Give this section a diameter. Now this is going to be the threaded part. So there's a pretty cool threaded tool that you can uh, search for in Onshape. And I'll show you where that uh, that tool is now. So once you're happy with the sizes, let's go ahead and extrude it again. All right, so if you notice up at the top right, there's that TH, it says thread. You can search using that search, bar, search box to the right. Just type in thread creator, and you'll find that tool. And this is real simple to use. We're just going to give it... Uh, a pitch of two millimeters is again based off our previous measurement. Once you're happy with that, click the checkbox, and then uh, you're pretty much done with this step. Oh, I forgot to make these uh, these little fillets down here, so you can't forget to put these fillets in. Otherwise, there's no way to print these overhangs over off in the air. We're also going to create another fillet underneath, right here. And about three and a half millimeters looks good here. Yeah, we'll change it to four. And then I like to create uh, another fillet on that top edge. That just makes printing it a lot cleaner. Okay, so this part looks good to me. Just gonna double check this top edge here. Looks good. I'm going to delete this one and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, re export it. And just open up your uh, downloaded file, and if you notice, it's already oriented the right way. Now, what I like to do with parts before I commit to printing the whole part is I'll uh, create a section of it so that I can test the threads. So on this second section, I'm just going to flip it upside down. And I like sinking it below the build plate. Make them approximately the same height. Slice it. And this uh, these two little pieces will be printed in just under 30 minutes. And then we can use them to test uh, to make sure that our threads are correct and that our pipe fits within the space of the model we created. So I'm just switching my printer here. I'm going to use the uh, Mainsail OS Ender 3 V2 that's running a Bontech nozzle on a E3D V6 hot end. All right. So now I'm just going to go to my browser here, check to make sure that uh, the part is loaded and printing, and yes it is. So we'll give this thing about 30 minutes, and then we'll check on it. Alright guys, so these parts just came off the printer, and they're still a little bit hot, but let's go ahead and take them off. And guys, if you're not printing on Garolite, Man, I highly recommend it. Uh, whether you buy uh, the, the Garolite uh, that, that I made to fit the Ender 3 V2, or whether you pick up one from uh, McMaster and cut your own, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic build, build surface. So these are just a couple of uh, test parts. Uh, the first ring is going to test uh, to see if the PVC fits in there. So if I can slide this over the PVC without too much resistance, then it'll work. And then this part is my uh, threaded, threaded piece. 
Again, I'm going to use the uh, electrical box uh, nut that goes on here. And if it fits on here, then I'll go ahead and print the actual part. So here's our two pieces. And then we'll uh, test fit it now. Alright guys, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, test fit the ring. Make sure the ring fits. So the ring fits this part. Should anyway. Yep. Okay, no problem. Now we'll see if it fits uh, our printed threads. And yes, it does. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, next thing we want to test fit is uh, actually it looks like it's a little loose. So I may have to I may have to make this a little bit a little bit thicker. All right, no problem. But the threads look like they're right. And what you can do to double check it is to put these threads on top of the the other threads and see if they match up. Kind of hard to tell there, but yeah, you can see that they line up fairly well. Okay. Next thing is to check to see if this piece slides over the PVC. And you see it's a little bit tight, so I need to make this a little wider. So I'll probably make this wider by about another maybe half a millimeter, three quarters of a millimeter. And then that should enable us to slide over. Yeah, it's important to test fit uh, without printing the whole part. That way you're not wasting material and time. Check it on the other side. Yeah, same thing. It's too tight. All right, guys. So let's adjust those. And then we'll reprint the test pieces and see what it looks like then. Okay, so here it is. Right, here's the original one, and this is the one that we just made. And let's see how let's see how the uh, the little collar fits. All right, so we're good there. And then here's the use a conduit that's going to fit on, so there you go. Alright guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell, and leave me some comments. I love reading the comments, I'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I see them. Till the next video, take care.